Hi, baby. Hey, Dad. How are you? <laughs> oh, you're gorgeous. Hey. <sighs> I don't know why I'm crying so much. I don't know you. <laughs> Dad, you got a little water in your eyes? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no water. <laughs> I got up this for you. You don't have to read it right now, but Thanks. I just wanted to carry something. <laughs> oh, cool. That's all good. <laughs> cool. You all set? Yeah, I think so. I think so, too. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Are we all done? <laughs> I think so. It's like paparazzi going on here. Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay. What do I do? Do I stand here? Do I freeze? Do I back in? Oh, look at this face. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So I can turn around and walk. I don't have to. I don't have to back in. Okay. He has another rule. <laughs> Should I slow down? No, you're fine. Okay. I can keep up with you. Perfect. As long as there's no car on me. Well, I hope he's not looking over here. A little bit. That's good. He looks yeah. like he's on a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad. Well, the car looks great. Do I stop here? <laughs> Did you pull my veil? <laughs> Just stick in your pocket. <laughs> you look nice. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Wait, I didn't put it yours in the envelope. <laughs> it got crushed on the plane, so I had to print it out of the word. <laughs> you pull it out. <laughs> Just throw it away. <laughs> you look so nice. I do. do we Are we reading them right now? Do you have? Do you want to? It's kind of, it's kind of long. Mine's really long. I know he was the first one to say that he was falling in love with me, and I was kind of not really sure. I've, so Jimmy's my first boyfriend. He's my first love, my first kiss, my first everything. So I wasn't really sure what love felt like or what it meant. And so when he told me that, I was like, all right, well, I, kind of, I was probably a little apprehensive because <laughs> I didn't want to just be like, yeah, I love everyone. I knew that I loved Hannah when I was Facebook stalking her before we ever met. Um, I was looking online at some pictures. I was creeping really hard. And I was like, man, this is the girl that I'm going to marry. Absolutely. Stalked her down, followed her to class. Before you know it, we're, uh, we're engaged. And it's been great ever since. <laughs> but for really though, um, definitely from the first date we ever went on, I absolutely knew that I could absolutely marry this girl. She was the one that I wanted to be with forever. And it took some convincing to go out on a date and start dating, but uh, she said yes and the rest is history. Oh, I love the way he is so close with his family because um, that tells me he's just really lovable and a really good family man, and that, that's really important to me. Her personality is just really warming. She's just a very genuine person. She's always been very down to earth. She meets people where they are. I found that very attractive. We've connected like super deeply, and she's just a very perfect second half to me. Now, who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. 
Probably, first of all, his sense of humor. Uh, he always makes me laugh. <laughs> I love the way that he cares about me, and I love the way that he loves God, and he, he puts his faith first. We met because in our um, Christian ministry, he was the MC, and he was always cracking jokes and up on the stage doing all this stuff, and I just thought he was kind of dorky, but also adorable. Definitely something uh, notable because of the way that just they were talking and uh, really hitting it off. Uh, she was laughing at just about all his jokes and the just goofiness that he has, his nature. We see it in the uniting of these families and friends gathered here today, and specifically in the uniting of Jimmy and Hannah in marriage. We experience it as we are invited to taste and see that the Lord is good in the food and drink and fellowship that awaits us here tonight. And we are commanded to seek it in the person of Jesus Christ through his sacrificial death on the cross, which invites us all into his eternal presence. Jimmy and Hannah, it is my prayer for you that you would experience these foretastes of God's coming kingdom as a couple, that you would be blessed richly in community, that you would see and know the Lord's provision and thank him often. And most of all, that you would remain in his presence, both individually and as a couple, all the days of your life. And now if you'll face one another for the reading of your vows. Here we go. <laughs> Jimmy, we'll start with you. Got this. If you'll repeat after me. <laughs> Actual sweat. <laughs> I, Jimmy. I, Jimmy. Take you, Hannah. Take you, Hannah. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. So Jimmy was pretty nonchalant about it. He is, that's always the vibe that I got whenever he would talk about any girls that he was interested in. Uh, but with Hannah, it was, it was him still being nonchalant about it, but you could tell that he was excited about her. I, Hannah. I, Hannah. Take you, Jimmy. Take you, Jimmy. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Ah, oh, man. I thought. Not to sound too cheesy, but I thought this could be the one. I mean, he never, she never really brought um, home another guy before, and so I was like, this is something special. And it was awesome that he's from Pensacola, so we got to meet his whole family, and um, yeah, really got to know them, and I just love him, love them together. Yeah, I'm very excited for their future. <laughs> excited for kids. <laughs> now for the exchanging of the rings. These rings, like so many other things today, are symbols of what is taking place. <laughs> the rings are a circle, the emblem of eternity. It is to show how lasting and imperishable your pledged faith and love to each other should be. Jimmy, we'll start with you. If you'll place this ring on Hannah's left hand and repeat after me. Hannah as a pledge and a token. Hannah as a pledge and a token. Of my commitment to you. Of my commitment to you. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. The Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Hannah, I'm going to do everything that I can to protect and serve you for the rest of our lives, to make sure that you have fun and that I'm not really stingy with money, as I tend to be. And we do very fun things together, keep our love alive for a really long time, uh, to provide for you, to provide for our future children and our home, uh, to make sure that you're well cared for. <laughs> Jimmy, as a pledge and a token. Jimmy, as a pledge and a token. Of my commitment to you. Of my commitment to you. 
with this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would be way more nervous, but I'm really not. Um, I'm excited. I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with you, and I'm so excited to, to get old and have kids eventually, not right now, eventually, and um, raise up a bunch of wonderful pets and kids, and have some land, and sit in some rocking chairs on a porch, and just be. So I'm excited for that. O oh, gracious God, you have created us in your image. Look with favor now upon Jimmy and Hannah, who come to you seeking your blessing. Assist them with your grace, that with steadfast love they may honor and keep the vows and promises which they make before you this day. In their many years of marriage, would you allow them to mourn well, to celebrate well, to serve well, and to love well. Would their union be a blessing to others and point many people towards you? To the glory of God we pray. Amen. Amen. Jimmy, I would say that you've found the perfect woman because she understands you and she laughs at all your goofy quirks. And uh, I feel like that's very important for you because you have an endless quantity of that. and. Um, I don't think she's ever going to get bored with you, and I don't think you're ever going to get bored with her. You guys play off of each other extremely well, and I couldn't be happier for you right now. Having taken these pledges of your affection and vows of fidelity, by the power invested in me as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one separate. Jimmy, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Hannah, <laughs> oh my gosh, um, I love you. I, um, <laughs> you're my best friend. Um, I am so, so, so happy for you. I, um, gonna miss you so much when you move. I'm obviously coming up every two seconds when I can. Um, I know that you're gonna have a great life with Jimmy and I'm so excited for your next adventure and um, yeah I just I love you so much and right be a pen pal with me. <laughs> May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jimmy Clements. Take this in. Oh, right now, I want to slow it down. Stop the world from turning round. So this moment never ends. If my eyes could stop the time, I'd take a picture in my mind. And never let this feeling pass. And if my dreams could come to life, and all my wishes realize. moment
I would reach out, try to hold back the hands of time. If only just for a while. Oh, oh, oh. if I could, I would bring down all the stars up in the sky to shine on this moment in time. If I could stop the hourglass, the grains of sand before they pass. No future and no past. And if my dreams come to life and all my wishes realized, I would only wish to make this moment last. Alright!